The Alcudra cycling track is a 150 km long dedicated bike lane in the middle of the Dubai desert. It sounds amazing, but my first experience was quite bizarre. I went from very happy to be on the bike to being stuck in the middle of an eight lane highway climbing the rails just to get back home. I don't know how, but I made it back. This is my story of my first time cycling in Dubai. <laughs> Do it. Good morning, I'm in Dubai. Been here for two weeks now. I'm with the family, girlfriend, two kids, three year old, four and a half year old. Yes guys, they're growing up fast. And today is my uh, before last training session here. I'm staying in this town square and it's right next to the start of the biggest, the longest cycling track in the world. This is Al Qudra Road. Town square is on the other side and on this side there's a bike lane. It's part of the Al Qudra cycling track. It leads out to the desert 20k in straight line. They call it the stick. And then there's a bunch of loops that you can do in the desert and it's all dedicated to cyclists. I think in total there's like 150k of bike lanes, so that's pretty awesome. And right now, this looks perfect, right? Perfect tarmac, clear, clean roads, couldn't be better. But it was very, very different when I arrived here two weeks ago. Hello's is a brief construction montage. We arrived last night. Today we're chilling at the, the playground with the kids. They're going to bed now. I'm going for two hours of easy riding. Tomorrow real training will start. 10 seconds later. There was a little bit of rain in the last few days. The whole thing is flooded. So I'm only 10 minutes in the ride and uh, I can't even continue. <laughs> So I got kind of boxed in on the bike lane. This is town square where I was staying and the bike lane is all along this road. It goes all the way south to where the good stuff is. And at this roundabout is where all the floods were. And also on the other side of town square on the bike lane, it was like a meter of standing water. So I couldn't go there either. On this first day, I only was trying to get just like two hours of easy riding. I had nowhere to go. I was boxed in. So I just tried to find some roads to ride through this neighborhood. My bike already looked like complete shit and I couldn't even find a decent stretch of road so I decided to call it a night and go home or well, at least I try to go home this is the weirdest situation I've ever come across riding anywhere in the world I'm on this bike lane dedicated cycling track in the desert I live there right there you see these apartments that's where we stay in I came from my apartment, I had to take a little bit of this big road to get on the bike lane and now there is no way back or I have to go into traffic on the highway for a couple hundred meters to take an exit in the wrong direction to get back. This is crazy. I asked this scooter guy somewhere there, he's like yeah, you should lift your bike up and walk across the street. How am I gonna cross this road without dying? Well, good luck with that. You can't make this up, man. You cannot make this up. I don't know how, but I made it back. End of flashback. It could be a coincidence that we're staying in town square, but it's not. I got in touch with a few people here in Dubai and some of them mentioned it's a good training starting point. And we checked it out. We we're planning our holidays. We wanted a place that's warm, not too far to fly to, not too big of a time difference. And I really want to be able to, to ride my bike. Mallorca is too cold, Tenerife is too cold. I mean, temperature is great for cycling, but to sit at the pool with the kids. It's not warm enough. So we ended up in Town Square and I've been doing a whole bunch of training. And then in the afternoon and in the evenings, we go to the pool, go to the zoo, go to Legoland, all that stuff.
let me quickly show what I'm talking about. So this is where I started. Town Square is right there. This is called the stick. Now I'm here. Big roundabout and there they have like the, the gas station, all these cafes and stuff. And then that's the loop. And then there's a bunch of extensions you could do. This one in the south, this one in the west. Totals about 150k. Today I'm just gonna do a quick up and back because I only got two hours. But on uh, Sunday we're actually gonna do a big loop. We're probably gonna hit all the tarmac of the whole Al Kudra cycling track. Trying to pronounce it right. Hey, I wanna quickly uh, chat about the bike, specifically the chain wax that I'm using. Two months ago, I got approached by a company called Optimize. They make chain wax with graphene in it. He wanted me to try it out, and I told him, okay, I'm gonna test it thoroughly, like proper, proper testing. So last week I was riding in the snow, this week I'm riding in the desert. You've seen the footage of my first ride through the mud, through the water, and after that, I rode it a lot without touching the chain, without cleaning it, not even relubing it, and it was still silent after like 200 k's. I'm really happy with this stuff because I don't need to clean it. The only thing I do is just put some new drip loop on the chain after like 300 k, and it's all good. And as you can see here in the desert, it gets really dusty. So even though it's dry, dust and sand blowing onto the bike the whole day, I even threw a handful of sand over the chain to test it and after that I did like 200 kilometers and it's still silent it's really really good and the chain it looks a bit gray but that's from the graphene which is in the in the wax so that's really interesting the graphene makes it stick to the material even better and it's supposed to make it even smoother so less drag I don't know because I can't test it against other chain wax and stuff but uh, for now just the benefit of not having to clean the bike at all is a big one to me so here there's a bunch of cafes there's a track shop you can rent a bike you can buy new inner tubes which I already did because I had three flats on the first two days restrooms showers parking lot the whole shebang you can rent one of these ones so it's really the extremes. You got the really, really serious triathletes riding their 15,000 euro bikes. And you've got the tourists that rent a bike like that and they just go for a spin. I did a post on Instagram and YouTube and uh, you guys wanted to see some group rides. So through uh, social media, I got in touch with the local community and it's big, man. There's so many cycling groups riding here every single day. So I've been jumping on a bunch of group rides. And one of those is the smash. Flashback. Good morning, guys. <coughs> Good morning, guys. On my way to a group ride today. It's called the smash. Zigzagging through traffic, getting out of the crazy part of the city first. Good morning. How's it going? Toby. Jasper. Good morning. Good morning, Jasper. You're back. I yeah. was uh, Jebel Jays. Fantastic. Everybody's telling me to go to Jebel Jays, which yeah, is like a 25 kilometer like long climb. Feet. But I need to be efficient. Um, I'm here with like the kids. So I just go out, I train and I come back. Going there is going to be an hour drive to get there. Blah, 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 blah. So not doing it this time. Maybe next time I'm in Dubai. Dude, I just literally woke up 30 minutes ago. You sit? Oh, crap. Typically, I don't do uh, coffee stops a lot. Mm. But I'm trying to blend in to the Dubai community of cyclists. And the coffee stop is just part of the deal. 
So we've got some uh, facilities, water fill up stuff uh, right next to the track store. The brand on the track uh, next to Specialized. So if you don't ride a Specialized S-Works or a really fancy uh, track and you rock up with your G-Wagon, you're not part of the game. I've been with a few group rides and every ride stops here and they get a coffee and then they ride this back the stick which is the bike lane towards the parking lot where everybody starts i will be doing a few more intervals on the way back rock and roll man We're gonna do some more intervals on the way back who's in oh, okay. i'm doing one minute on one minute off it's actually in the middle of racing season here in uh in dubai i didn't know but next year maybe yeah. i come back and i'm gonna bring like a proper race bike okay and my mountain bike all right promise we'll have to plan some races promise yeah. i can't i don't know i have to talk to the to the boss to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> no but she really likes it here so maybe yes cycling roundabout there's no one left easy cool down wow it was a good training it's actually fun to ride in a group and it's almost like a race simulation as if you're in the breakaway you know so uh, pace is pretty high we're doing easy like 40 average speeds that you normally never ride when you're alone so yeah it's fun so you were actually focused on this orange dot the whole time? I was chasing, chasing the waste bins. Waste bins. Did you ever caught it or not? I wrong, the biggest mistake I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good strategy. Wear a jersey the same color as the waste bin and the competition will be flabbergasted. Yeah. Well, I'll See you later, much. maybe next year we go to Jebel J's. Yeah, for sure. People to keep doing good content, man. Take I will, care. I will. Bye, boys. Belgium in the house, see you later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, training done. The only thing now is to get back to town square where I live, to our apartment. And for that, I need to ride this crazy roundabout and then into traffic on the road a little bit because that's the only way to get back. And it's normal because the locals do it every single day. On the first day I was here, this whole road was just flooded, so I just could not get back here. That's why I jumped the fence. Now I'm doing what the locals are doing every day, which is crazy to me. It's kind of strange. They built this multi-million billion dollar cycling facility in the desert there's a big cycling community here in town square a lot of riders come from here but they just forget or they didn't get to putting down that last few hundred meters of bike lane to get here I've, it's pretty crazy but maybe it will get here in the future i don't know eventually today i'm doing a short two-hour workout i've got four short intervals on sweet spot and then a bunch of sprints. My legs are already getting pretty tired after these two weeks of training. I'm only doing two hours, so I can't make the loop that's too big. That's at least like two hours 40. So I'm going out and back today. One more thing I, I think is quite bizarre is that there's plants and flowers and trees all along the track, at least on, on this side and they're all watered and there's maintenance crews working around the clock every day on these trees and plants and bushes to, to maintain it in the middle of the desert 
It's bizarre. I'm back on the stick, 20k to get back home. I still have those sprints to do. It's four 12 second sprints. So that's another two hour training done. Right now, the chain is still silent. I haven't cleaned it for over a thousand kilometers. I've just been reapplying a bit of this optimized chain wax. I'm gonna keep on using it. If you wanna check it out, they've got three variations. So the cheapest one is just the chain wax. The middle one is a little bit more expensive. It gives you better performance. It has an addition of graphite. And then the one that I use is the top level, like the high end stuff. It has graphene and this will give you the best performance. Go check it out, use code JASPER10 to get that 10% discount off this optimized chain box. Really cool stuff. Then just a few things I noticed about riding in Dubai. Usually they ride very early. Right now it's winter, so they start late at seven o'clock. In the, in the summer they start at five because it's too hot by like, nine o'clock um the average bike is probably about ten thousand euros um nobody rides mechanical shifting everybody is on the dura ace di2 12 speed it's crazy and uh, you need a car to get to the cycling track well from town square it's doable when you're okay to ride into traffic a bit to get back but um stay tuned for that big 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 ride that i'm doing this sunday I'm gonna see you in that video. See ya!